Hey, Dr. John Sweetek here from Sweetek Medical Center. Um, let's talk about why people pass out when they see blood or have their blood drawn. Uh, this was a topic that came up a couple times in the last few days, so let's talk about it. So the body has a fight or flight mechanism, as you know, whenever it reaches challenges. Um, one of the components of this is called the vasovagal reflex, and um, when it's activated, you can have what's called vasovagal syncope. Basically, the body will slow the heart down and dilate all the blood vessels. This can lead to wooziness, or if it's bad enough, you can pass out. Usually it's very self-limited, and it involves the, it's a reflex through the brain stem. Um, like I said, we believe it has something to do with the fight or flight. I think the brain senses that there's blood loss. The, the brain's designed, or the whole body's designed to keep the blood loss to a minimum, so it actually slows the heart down. Um, in this case, though, it's uh, not very helpful. Um, so what can you do about it? If, uh, if you do have atypical features or this is happening to you, you should discuss it to a physician just to make sure there's nothing funky going on. Um, it can be masking something else, but most of the time a couple of things you can do are stay hydrated. Um, you can, we usually don't recommend adding salt to your diet. However, if you are prone to this, maybe taking a little bit extra salt will raise your blood pressure and can help. Uh, you got to watch your blood pressure, obviously, if you're going to be doing this. Um, a couple of small tricks you can do. Sometimes squeezing your grip will override this reflex, or crossing your legs can also help. If you feel it coming on, a good thing to do is sit down. Um, uh, if you're really prone to it, you can carry around some smelling salts or even some rubbing alcohol, and sometimes taking a small... Don't do this all the time, but um, in a pinch it may be useful. Um, so there are some medications for people that have really bad uh, situations. Um, I know there are some medical workers through their training, they, they have a lot of anxiety over this. Sometimes a little bit of reassurance is helpful in slowly exposing yourself. Um, the medications, I, I think they use uh, different steroids and also midodrine. These, these are probably overkill for this unless it's a real significant problem. A um, couple other things are clonidine and beta blockers, which uh, actually might prevent this from happening. Uh, they kind of overhaul the sympathetic system a little bit, and um, they can be effective. So I figured we'd talk about it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other topics. We'll try to keep these coming and see how it grows. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.